Hey everyone, it's Brian with PokeVault.com and it's been a while since I've done a plushie video so today we've got a ton of stuff to go through here. So I'll just give you a quick glimpse here. There is a lot. So let's just start out here with some stuff that came out a while ago. Um, and let me figure out the way, best way to do this is here. We'll just do these one at a time. Um, this is uh, Mega Gardevoir. This came out a couple months ago. Um, I've been a little busy, so I haven't had time to do much here. But this is a um, one of the Mega Series Plus. You can see the tag here. Um, I believe it was released about two months ago. But you can see it has flexible arms. And he doesn't stand up because he's kind of flimsy. Ah, he does, I guess. But very cute. You can see really nice details on his face. And he's real soft. And you can see he's got little legs underneath here. But very cute. Okay, next, we also had Mega Galad. If I mispronounce any of these names, forgive me, because I'm used to the Japanese here. Um, he has got these wings on the back. They're made of like a, a felt. They do kind of crease sometimes and bend. But other than that, I really like this plush. He does not stand up at all. Um, but he's real cute. Cute face. And again, it's got the Japanese Pokemon Center tag. And the third one of these, these three came out together. Uh, Mega Mawile. He doesn't stand up either. You, you can actually get him to stand up if you balance his ears here. Um, but these are real heavy. I guess there is ears, um, or whatnot, but these are real nice. They got these little teeth on here. He's cute. And again, the Pokemon Center tag. Very cool. These did come out a while ago, so I'm a little late on this video. I apologize. Um, next... What we have is the Secret Base Dolls. Um, there have actually been quite a few of these released recently. Recently they haven't been re putting out the uh, normal Poké Dolls. They've been putting out these Secret Base type. A um, little bit different tags. And they're bigger. About one and a half times the size of a Poké Doll. And of course they cost a little more but these are really cool. Um, this one is Clefairy, and I like this one. There was also a Pikachu as well. I forgot to put the Pikachu in this video, but he came out by himself later. Um, Lapras, this one really like. He does fall forward a little bit. Um, that's the only thing I don't like. But other than that, he's just, I mean, he's really nicely made. And again, he's got the uh, secret base Poké Doll tag. If you do want to see these, um, you can just go to PokéVault.com and just in the search box type in secret base and they'll all come out. Um, all, they'll all come up so you can see all the different ones. I think there's about 11 or 12 now. Um, we next have Ditto. Pretty simple plush, but he's actually real popular. Um, this one actually has a little bit of a crease tag. I'm not happy about that. Should have checked before I bought it. But this is real cute. Um, he does stand up. You can see. Um, but I, I like Ditto as well. Next, these are the new ones that just came out. We have Chikorita. And this is the ones with the, um, kind of the old style with the big red eyes. And I actually, 
at first I thought that was kind of ugly, but actually it's kind of grown on me. I think it's kind of cute now. So I actually, I do really like this one too. And he will stand up. So very cute actually. Then next we have Cyndaquil. This one I like. Um, he's got this little fire in the back. It's a little bit of a kind of a leathery material on the inside and the outside. This does wrinkle a little bit, um, but can't really be helped. But I, I think it's really cute. He does not stand up, though. So one problem with him, he's got, his nose is too big. His head's too big. So, But he's cute. I mean, I, I like him. And next... We have another one with the big red eyes, Total Dial. I like this one. I like his teeth. Um, he's kind of got this, you know, evil look going on here, but he's really cute. I like his eyes. Um, this part I really like too. Again, he's got the tail. Uh, tail. He's got the tag. Sorry. Um, but again, nice, nice stitching, and he will stand up as well. So, I, I do like this one. One of my favorites, actually. Then, last but not least, we have Swablu. And Swablu has the felt up here. Um, this sometimes kind of leans back. It depends on which one you actually picked out at the Pokemon Center. They're kind of, there's, you know, some lean back, some stand up, some one forward, one back. Um, but he's real cute. He's got this really, really soft fur here, which I like. Little feet on the bottom, he's cute. So that's it for the secret base dolls. Um, next we had Hoopa, the star of the new Pokemon movie. And this is the Pokemon Center version. Its arms are flexible. And this is the bound version, um, which is all they have out now. Um, there is an unbound version. I don't know if they'll make a plushie of it, but this is the um, the bound version. And he is the star of the new movie. So you'll be seeing a lot of him or her. And then we have two more Hoopas. This is the Takara Tomi version. Its arms does, do not move. A little dirt on there. Um, it's similar. Quite similar. Um, its mouth is a little different. It's quite similar, but the Tomi version comes in a box. Um, they started doing this last year or the year before. I don't really like the box because they don't have a tag. The good part is the tag doesn't bend since it, there is no tag, so it makes my life a little easier, but... Um, they do come in a box. Obviously, you just cut it out of, cut it off here, so you can cut it out. Um, but this is the new style Tomi version. They're a little bigger than before, um, compared to the Pokemon Center version. They're a little bigger, so they were quite a bit more expensive actually. But this is how they're doing all the Takara Tomis now with the box. Then we have the Tomi version of this is a talking Hoopa. And you can see its mouth is different, very different. And this is, this one when you, um, I think it's push its forehead. I'm going to read it here real quick. Yeah, here it goes, push. That's pretty simple to figure out. When you push its forehead, it speaks. And it has 20 different sounds in Japanese, of course. 20 shuri, that's 20 different sounds. Um... So this is quite cute. I don't have one with batteries in, unfortunately. Um, I might at a later date, but right now I don't. And you can see these rings are actually movable here. Um, but I really want to try this. I want to see what it says. And then we have the, again, Tomi, Takara Tomi again, Ladius and Ladios versions. These are really cool and really, really popular. The fur is, is quite different. It's, it's really a, kind of a rough 
looking fur, but it's actually soft. And I think these are a lot better made than the, the Tomy used to be. Um, but he's very cute. And again, they come in the box and they're just plastic, with a little plastic, whatever you call it, tag here to hold it onto the box. And Latios. You can see uh, you can see it better here. The fur is kind of kind of a I just woke up in the morning look here, but very cute. Um, the wings are flexible. They will bend all over the place here. You can fix them if you want. Um, these are real cute. They they look really cute together. Um, I did take a picture on my Pokevault site. You can see it. Um, they actually look like. They're holding each other. They're very cute. So you can check that out if you want. Pokevault.com. And next we have the this is the Okinawa Pikachu. This was only available at the Okinawa store. Um, it's not a Pokemon Center. It's the it's the Pokemon store. They have one in Tokyo, one in Okinawa. And those of you who know Japan, Okinawa is an island way in the south, so it's very difficult to get to. You have to take a plane. Um, I did go there for my birthday in May, and I did pick these up. So um, you can see it says Okinawa. He's in his little Hawaiian type shirt. Okinawa is real similar to Hawaii, um, kind of an island type um, theme. But you can see Okinawa Pikachu. And they did make a little plushy keychain as well. He's smaller. Um, he's got a, like, these have been made it with other things, the Mega, Mega Tokyo, Pikachu, Pikazard. Um, they do have clips. Um, you can actually take this ring off if you want. Um, or you can clip it. You can clip it onto your bag um, if you travel. But he's real cute. This one will not stand up because he's, he's too small and he falls over. But... This one will barely stand up. Ah, he kind of falls over too. But anyways, they're real cute. These were Okinawa only. Not sold any other Pokemon Centers. Um, very limited. And then we have the monthly Pikachus. Um, for every month in Japan, starting in March, there was a, a different Pikachu with a different theme. Um... This one is the businessman Pikachu. You can see monthly Pikachu. Um, April. It's It was sold in, in March, but it's actually April. That's uh, Shigatsu. That means four, fourth month is April in Japanese. Um, they do have these cute little tags. Um, this one sold out in about two hours at the Pokemon Center near me. These I don't know why. Last time the monthly Pikachus came out, a few years back they were not that popular this time for some reason they're selling out all the time um, but anyways this is the first one he has these little glasses um, really cute they are attached in the back here so you can't take them off um, but this is probably the most popular one so far businessman um, the reason it's a businessman is because in March and April is when new recruits uh, go to Japanese companies and there's interviews and then you enter a company for pretty much life in Japan. You can see he has a little briefcase here. He's so cute. And so that's why the businessman theme. Um, the next one was May. And this one, a lot of people don't understand this because um, it's a very Japanese thing. Uh, this is the May one. Um, what what these are, you can see here, these are these are called koi no bori, they're flying kites. And what they are is for Children's Day, which is May 5th, um, children make these kites and fly them over the river. And that's what this is supposed to be actually, is a kite. This is the, the stick, and these are the kite with little magic carps on here. Um, and this is the Japanese samurai helmet, is what it actually is, um, which is a symbol of Children's Day actually have one of these a real one um so that's why people look at this and they kind of think what is it <laughs> but that is what it is it's children's day theme um 
And this one also is sold, was sold out in about, I think this one took a little longer, maybe two days. Um, the next one is the June one. And June in Japan, if you know Japan, is rainy. Um, it's raining every day right now. It's raining. Um, so he's got, of course, a umbrella and a rain suit. So this is real. The only thing I don't like about this, it's always wrinkled. Um, but you can't take it off either. I don't think you can take it off. No, nah, probably not a good idea. But it, it is wrinkled all the time. But it's really cute. You can kind of make it a little bit less wrinkled. Um, they're actually kind of big for the Pikachu. But this is really cool. This is like a kind of a leathery type material. I do really like this one. This one also sold out in about a day. Maybe less. Um, they did have a strict limit of these of 10 per person. So these were really tough to get. Um, everybody was grabbing 10. So... Um, and the last one we have so far is the July. Um, there you go. And in July, Japan has festivals. So this is the festival Pikachu. Um, if you know Japan, people wear these. These are called yukatas. Um, you can see the Pokeball on the back. And this is a Japanese old style, um, little, I don't know what you'd call it, headband, I guess. Um, you can see it in here. He's got the headband on. And when people go to festivals, Japan is incredibly humid and hot. So you have a fan. Everybody has a fan. So, and a yukata because it's a little bit cooler. So this is the, um, the Matsuri, the festival version in July. And I'll have more of these when they come out. I'll probably wait till there's three or four before I do it again. But get these while you can. This one also sold out pretty much in one day. Um, some of the big to Pokemon centers in Tokyo may still have them, but the first few are definitely gone. And last but not least, we have the Pokemon Time number 8 campaign. And there was, this time, 9 of the little plush keychains. So we'll just go through these one at a time. Um, again, you can see these on Pokevault.com. Um... And any of you, if you want to buy them, uh, just click on the red 10% off coupon right on the front page. It says get 10% off. Click on there, put in your email, boom, you get a coupon sent to you. You can use it as many times as you want. 10% off every time. Just write down the coupon code so you don't forget. Um, but again, pokevault.com. Um, or if you want to see pictures, there's all kinds of pictures on there. Here's Glaceon. And you can see his little... Ears are flexible here, little ears and little whatever these are called. Um, these are keychains. It's got a flexible tail. So you can take this off if you want, um, but you can clip it onto your bag or whatever you want. I do like the Pokemon time because look at it, has got big eyes. It's got that unique big eye look. Um, of course, then we have Leafeon, the pair. Um, these don't stand up real well. Leafeon does not stand up. Glaceon, I think, stands up. Yeah, he stands up. But Leafeon kind of falls forward. Um, but you can see these. These are real cute. His tail is attached. Um, and it's not stuffed. But very cute. We have Jolteon. These are real popular. Um... And will probably be gone soon. So if you want, check them out soon. Um, Flareon. He's cute as well. He's got real soft fur. Real soft fur on his tail too. And Umbreon. Looks so cute. Looks so innocent. And he's got rubber bands. Like a rubber type material on his ears and tail just like the plushies do um, this is stitched you can see the fur is real real soft velvety fur minky espion it's cute as well even a dot on his head is stitched his tail's a little bit not too strong here it's made of a uh, material Kind of cute, but they should have done a 
more of a plushy type tail, I think. But he's cute. Vaporeon. I like his tail. And last but not least, Sylveon. She's got little bows here. Nice detail. Very cute. Ribbons in the back. These do bend sometimes, um, but they're cute. She's got a tail. It's not stuffed, but it's nice tail. And again, you can come check these pictures out on PokeVault.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. We've got all kinds of stuff. We're going to have some contests. We just gave away a large Mega Pikachu Picazard plushie um, to one person. Kyle in the UK won it. And we are going to have another contest coming up soon. So come check it out. It's PokeVault.com. And I'll make another video as soon as we have something else. Thanks again. Bye-bye.